Hey everybody, it's Chris Grandy. It's been a while since I've done a video, so I've got a whole list of videos I want to do though, and I'm working on the best way to publish them. I have, I've always had somewhat, you know, not the best equipment. You know, I have good computers and such, but not the best recording equipment for videos, and it's always kind of slowed me down. So my plan for this year is to create a bit of a studio here at home so that I can just bang out quality videos, but I'm working on that still. In the meantime, though, I have a whole slew of videos I want to do. First one that I would like to do here is um, just talk about iBonds. It's uh, if, if you look here on the screen, it's just a, what we're noticing right now is with the last inflation adjustment. All right, and just just to review, iBonds are like double E savings bonds, except they pay interest based on a base rate plus an inflation figure. And in the most recent uh, inflation number, CPI number, that came in at 7.12% inflation, which is pretty huge if that were to continue. Um, in that case, I-bonds pay interest semi-annually, so you get the base rate plus half of the inflation rate for a six-month period. So right now, if you buy an I-bond, and typically the term on these is five years, if you buy an I-bond, you will get the one half of 7.12% or uh, down here you see a 3.56%, you'll get that interest for the first six months, which is pretty good. If inflation were to continue to stay high, then you will continue to likely get these type of interest rates on your money. And again, this is an I bond guaranteed by the US government, interest grows tax deferred, and you can purchase them directly at Treasury Direct if you're that type of person. Instead of going down to the bank or something, you could set up an online account. Realize though, at the end of six months, if inflation numbers were to come in much lower, your interest will be lower. On the other side though, here's where the opportunity may lie. If inflation continues to be a problem, the Fed will not only raise interest rates a little bit like they plan to do in March, but they may continue to raise rates. If they do, then the base rate on I-bonds will likely adjust up. If we get a decent base rate in I-bonds, I may start to accumulate them personally. So in other words, right now the base rate's zero and the inflation rate's 7.12. So you, you know, your interest rate is zero plus one half of 7.12 for the six months. However, what if these rates go up to one or 2%? It's been a while, but I remember these at 2%. And you know, back in the day, they, these numbers would be much higher. If, uh, but I remember them being two, three, four percent What if you had a base rate of 2% plus inflation? So if inflation numbers are coming in at five or six percent or four, five or six percent, you know, each year you would get two plus four, five or six. That's not bad. And if this problem were to really get out of control and rates were to keep rising, then I would keep slowly accumulating I bonds. So there may be an opportunity here for those people that uh, that uh, you know want a little inflation protection theoretically and are still scared of, of market investing and, and don't want to be involved in CDs, et cetera. You know, like I mentioned earlier, the beauty of I-bonds is you're earning interest tax deferred and it is state tax free. So just something to consider. You can go to the website here. It's treasurydirect.gov right up here on the top and look for yourself. Have any questions, give me a call, but I just want to make you aware to keep this on your radar. If you're a client of mine, it's on my radar and I'm going to keep you apprised. But if you're not a client, put this on your radar and you know something to track because this could lead to an opportunity down the line, uh, in my opinion. So I as tempting as that 3.56% sounds right now, the base rate is still zero. And if inflation numbers were to drop down again, you're going to earn very little in this bond for a long period of time. However, if inflation were to tick up, you know, and if I wanted to say buy $20,000 of I bonds, you know, I might buy a thousand and then wait and see if the rates go up again, a thousand. And if I get a good base rate, maybe buy a few thousand and really average in at, at a good solid amount. So, and you can do that all online. Anyway, hope that's helpful to you. Any questions, let me know and enjoy your day. But uh, uh, look forward to more videos from me as I get this stuff squared away and get things together. Appreciate your patience and uh, thanks for watching.